Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today, for the first time ever, I'm going to be attempting to assemble a curtain track. But not any curtain track, no, 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 no. This is a smart curtain track. So what you're going to do is you're going to like set this up, you know, screw it into your wall or whatever, and then you're going to just attach some curtains to the curtain track. So I bought some curtains on Amazon here. You'll be able to control those curtains via your Amazon Echo, your Google Home, Apple Home Kit, and it also supports uh, Lightwave whatever the hell Lightwave is. This product was sent to me for free by Ajax Online. Uh, they've got a little logo like on the actual remote that this comes with. Your curtains do come with a remote now if you get this product. So it's pretty cool but I doubt you'll actually be using the remote as you can just ask like your Amazon Echo to you know open or close your your curtains which is insane. I can't believe this is even a thing but it is and uh, it's all very possible so there's like a massive motor here that it comes with. Uh, this of course needs power of course. Then there's also like the actual smart adapter that it comes with. The curtain track itself which is still like in its packaging. I haven't even unboxed it all the way. So it's going to be really exciting setting this up for the first time. Thanks once again Ajax Online for sending me this smart home curtain track. It's going to be crazy. But before we actually set up the smart home curtain track and you know attach onto the wall and stuff. There's one thing we have to do beforehand and that is get rid of my current uh, roller blinds that are currently broken. So they've been broken for I think quite a few months now and uh, by broken I mean like this string that you'd use to like you know roll it up or down. It broke and I, I just didn't even bother to fix it. I kind of just rolled it up with my bare hands and just left it there for a few months. So uh, getting rid of it is just well oh come on dude it's, it should be pretty simple. Is it stuck? Never mind no. Uh, yeah there we go. We're pretty much done. I just need to unscrew the actual mounting points there. All right, so I've gone ahead and taken off the two like mounting brackets, I guess, for the wall. I would like to actually repaint everything there. So I, I might do that afterwards. Uh, as you know, it's just like a little bit of paint really. Just go over those little marks there. Uh, but apart from that, I think we should be good to go. We should now be able to set up our smart curtain track. <laughs> One thing that is quite important is that we actually like, you know, unbox this. Uh, so there's just like some masking tape on here really, a bunch of bubble wrap, like it did come very well packaged though. Uh, like I doubt anything came damaged, like they used a lot of like bubble wrap and stuff all over this. Oh this has like some mounting brackets and stuff, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll probably need those right, we'll probably need this stuff. There's one crazy, oh my god. How did a screw fall out? How is this possible? This is a sealed bag. What? <laughs> Right, let's take everything out. Right, so I've been looking at all these components here, trying to figure out uh, you know, how this is actually going to be assembled. And uh, to be completely honest, I have no idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the video that they sent me and uh, hopefully have a better understanding of how this is actually going to be you know, assembled and attached onto my wall. All right, so I've now watched the video and I have a much better understanding of how to actually put this thing together. Right, so these two pieces here have to come and join together. Oh, there we go. They're joined together. <laughs> Alright, so this is one end of the track here and uh, in the video it's said to measure like 15 centimeters from I guess the start or the end of the track here and that's where you should be mounting the like mounting bracket I guess for the wall. So 15 centimeters should be right about there. So that should be fine. That's the mounting bracket there for one end. Let's grab the other end here, measure out 15 centimeters. That's roughly like here. There we go. That should be fine. Before we actually attach this onto the wall, we have to put these components together as these two pieces here are loose. And the one on the other side here is actually like very sturdy and it's all built already. But these two pieces here are loose and they shouldn't be loose. So. Uh, what we'll have to do is we'll put this middle piece in between. Right, so we're pretty much good to go, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and actually like, you know, just try to see where this is actually going to mount, first of all. Uh, yeah, the measurements seem to be actually like completely perfect and I think I'm gonna be able to screw it into there. Alright, I figured out how to attach the actual motor to the curtain track. It's actually super simple. You just slot it in, then you slide this. All right, so next up, I'm gonna plug in the actual uh, smart hub for the curtain motor here. So there's some kind of like 
internet cable that goes into this end here. There we go. So that goes in there. Right, and then the motor itself needs power as well. So there we go. There's the power cable for that. All right, so it's been around like 15, 20 minutes. I've been trying to figure out how on earth to actually use this. And uh, it's actually like very, very simple. All you have to do is you have to plug in the smart controller, uh, the uh, smart curtain track adapter here that allows you to use it with your Amazon Echo, your Google Home, Apple HomeKit, Samsung SmartThings, Lightwave, anything you want, I think. And uh, I've currently got this USB controller plugged into a smart plug. So I've just got like a USB adapter that you use to like, charge your phone. And I've plugged that into a smart plug. So the way this all works is super simple. I'll move the camera back and actually point it at the curtain so you can see what's going on. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on the, <laughs> there we go, oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So all you have to do to make it work is either turn off or turn on the smart plug. Three, two, one, I'm gonna press that and they'll now close. All that's left to do, of course, is to just attach like actual curtains to all the little rings there and then we'll be good to go. All right, so it's the next day right now. I've currently set everything up. I've been using everything for like roughly 24 hours or so. Everything works really well. Really happy with the product so far. It's actually like, it feels like I'm living in the future. Like the ability to ask like my Amazon Echo to open or close my curtains is insane. Like <laughs> it feels like I'm living in the year 2020 or something. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but to actually control the curtains, you have multiple options and multiple ways to actually close and open them. Uh, one of the ways, which is included with the actual like package here, is a remote. So we have like an Ajax Online remote here, and this allows you to open and close your curtains via remote. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you how this all works. To close the curtains, you're going to want to press the arrow down, and uh, there you go. The motor itself that actually like operates the curtain track is super silent. The only really like noise you hear, I guess, is the actual curtains like moving along the track. Like it's almost, it's almost completely silent. It's really good. Like I'm, I'm very impressed so far. And to open the curtains is super easy as well. You're gonna wanna press the arrow up button on the remote. And there you go. See, this is, this is crazy. But this isn't the only way to open and close your curtains. You can also open and close them via your Amazon Echo, your Google Home, Apple HomeKit, like any kind of smart plug app, the possibilities are endless. So what I've currently set up with my Amazon Echo is routines for my ALEXA. So I'm on the Amazon Echo app right now and I've got ALEXA, the closed curtains, ALEXA, open curtains. And these are routines. So if we go and take a closer look, I guess, uh, when you say ALEXA, closed curtains, this will turn off curtains. Curtains is the device that I've currently named my curtains, of course. So. The way it all works is super simple. All I have to say is close curtains. What is this? The fact that this works so well is crazy. Open curtains. Bruh. So if that's not pretty cool, I don't know what is, but genuinely it feels like I'm living in like the year 2020 right now, opening and closing my curtains via my voice. And the way it's all set up is actually like really simple. Let's take a closer look at how all this is connected and how everything works. So if you take a look here, we've got the motor. This is connected to the whole smart track. We have the motor here. Now this actually controls the entire smart track and allows the curtains to open and close. So the motor requires like an actual power source. So you get one power cable here that you plug into the wall. Then if you want to, you can also pick up the smart track adapter that I'll show you in just a second. But all this is really is this like an internet cable that plugs into the bottom of the motor and then that plugs into one of these. Now this is basically just all one unit. So this here is the smart curtain track adapter. And so this allows it to work with your Amazon Echoes, your Google Homes, Apple HomeKit, Lightwave, like Samsung things, like a million different devices, basically like a bunch of smart plugs as this does plug into a smart plug. And coming out the other end of the smart track adapter is this, just a USB jack. So all you have to do is you have to plug in the USB jack here into the USB like charger here or the USB like adapter. And you then plug this USB adapter into the included smart plug that you get with the smart adapter. So just gonna plug this in and there you go. You're pretty much all set up. So you're gonna wanna plug this into the wall 
And this is basically just a smart plug, so I'm sure most of you are already familiar how smart plugs work. However, I've currently got my smart track adapter plugged into one of these Moros power strips as the power strip comes with like some smart USB ports, so I don't really need a smart plug anymore. So all I have to do to actually like open and close the curtains via my app is turn off the USB ports. Just like that really, so the curtains will close and to open them, all I have to do, hop back on the app and just press that. There you go, they open. You can even control the curtains via your Amazon Echo app. So if you scroll down here, we have the curtain switch right here. So the plug is currently on and if I press the switch, boom, the curtains will close and we can even like stop or, you know, open them again uh, just by pressing the plug again. So like it all works really well. It's super simple. And also if you're on an Amazon Echo with a screen, you can now do this. So if you go onto routines here by pressing on that button here, we can also access the routines that you typically access in your Amazon Echo app but instead you can access them on your actual like Amazon Echo with a screen. So the device I have here is my Amazon Echo Spot and what I can do is I can press open curtains and they'll open. I can also close them and they'll close. Like it's just wow. And of course if you don't want to do that and you can just use your voice instead, open curtains and boom dude, they open up. Right, so that pretty much covers how to actually like open and close your curtains with all these various ways. What I want to talk about now is like the customer service, what actually like goes into ordering one of these as the one I ordered here is I think 1.7 meters long as my window isn't that big, but the smart curtain tracks are offered up to five meters. You can check the link in the description down below to the pricing of the smart curtain track as well as the smart home like smart adapter to actually like enable them to be used with like your Amazon Echo and stuff, you know, we've already covered all that. And I want to talk about the customer service that you would receive if you were to buy one of these like smart curtain tracks. So what I did myself is I sent them a picture of my window. I measured everything out uh, just so they can like tell me exactly like what size curtain track I need for my window. So I sent them a picture with like all the measurements and they said, right, we're going to give you a 1.7 meter curtain track. And I'm like, yeah, sounds good. I trusted them and the measurements were exactly on point, like everything fits absolutely perfectly as I know they're experts on this stuff, like they know about curtains, they know about curtain tracks and they absolutely nailed the measurements here and the customer service that I received was really good. They walked me through all the process of like setting it up and stuff, like they even sent me a video showing how the actual product is assembled by them and then shipped to you and all the steps that you have to do to actually like finish setting it up. Like the entire product pretty much comes completely assembled already. All you have to do is just put a few things together, plug it in, you know, screw it into the wall and you're done. And I'm not sure if I already mentioned this yesterday when I began recording this video, but this product was sent to me for free by Ajax Online and the Smart Adapter as well. But everything that they sent me, uh, you would receive as well if you bought one of these products. You'd receive the exact same customer service, which was great. And yeah, like it's a great product. It's very expensive. That is the only downside of the smart curtain track. If you're wondering how expensive, feel free to check the link in the description down below. But I believe for one meter, it's just under 300 pound for one meter of track. For two meters, it's just under 400 pound. I think the smart track adapter is around 70 pound on Amazon. Uh, similar prices in the US as well, I think. But yeah, it's extremely expensive. But if the price of the product doesn't really bother you, you don't really care how much your smart curtain track costs. It's a really good product. I'd highly recommend it. It's, it's pretty cool. Just having the ability to open and close your curtains via your Amazon Echo or Google Home. You know, it's like a voice command to open or close your curtains blows my mind that that's even possible. But you know, smart home tech is clearly advancing. If we can do stuff like this, like I can't imagine the kind of smart home tech we're going to have in like a couple years from now. I don't even know. We're gonna have like smart fridges, smart ovens. It's gonna be crazy, the world we live in and like the direction we're going, I guess. But I think I'm going to be ending this video here. It has been an awesome time setting this up. Like what I'm gonna be doing with these curtains, I think, is I'm gonna set it up with if this, then that, as you know, your smart plug works with if this, then that. So what you can do is program your curtains to open up automatically on sunrise and close automatically on sunset. Like, that's crazy. Uh, but apart from that, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you Ajax Online for sending me the curtain track. I appreciate it guys. It is awesome. Very, very cool product. If you're interested in buying one of these tracks for yourself, I'll leave all the links in the description down below to the product I have and the smart track adapter as well. Thank you to Ajax Online for sending me the smart curtain track and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.